Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's a pleasure to be with you today. I'm thankful from Oslo Freedom Forum to giving me this opportunity to share the journey of my life. I didn't start out wanting to change the world. I started out as a shy and curious girl in Afghanistan. As many of you know, a girl in Afghanistan is giving a few opportunity to imagine anything but serving the life for husband and house. I was lucky enough to find a way around of this. As a child, I always heard a rumor of some things would change up my life. I heard there is a box that you can talk and you can learn about the people. You can ask a question without meeting with them and they don't care who you were and even care that you are a girl. This is a stock whole of my childhood. And then when I was 16 years old, I had opportunity to try it by myself. A friend of mine asked me to go to the internet cafe in Herat to try some things we call it Yahoo Messenger. We went to only internet cafe in Herat. We were the only woman there. And to my amusement, the rumor was true. For the first time, I realized that there are more than what was around of me. And right then, I became determined to make somehow technology the center of my career. You see, this is what it means to be a woman in Afghanistan. You have to stay at the home. You can only talk with other women or only men at the home. After the first time of using the internet, I selected a computer science as my career at the university. After a study, I started working for the government and university. And eventually, I was be able to start my own software development company. My company grew, and I could hire a lot of the women who are programmers and bloggers. And I could become the first female tech CEOs in Afghanistan. Quite frankly, being a female tech CEO anywhere in the world will introduce you some barriers. But in Afghanistan, a place that the women are not supposed to work outside, the attack against of me was devastating, both personally and professionally. It was hard for us to get a job from the people who didn't want to work with the women. And when we could bring a client, they often refused to pay for the work that we did for them. They trained then my employee and I. They put a spy on us. And sometimes I feel it like too much. But if I was quiet, what message I could send to other girls who want to have the same career like I did? So my employee and I find a way to protect ourselves and continue the work that we loved. There were uncountless obstacles, but I finally realized the career that I dreamed as a girl. I still know there are millions of girls who are out there just like me. They are curious, but they are giving a narrow vision to explore the world. They are wanting to know more, but they don't know what is truly possible. I wanted to share the success that I realized when I was younger, to giving these girls who are like me a door that opened to the rest of the world. So I started a nonprofit organization called Digital Citizen Fund to provide technology access for these women and girls and train them to learn about social media, basic coding, and they can also learn about the financial literacy. I know this is what I needed to do, but it wouldn't be easy. There was one time we selected a village in the Herat to building an IT center inside. The principal of the school got very happy. The students were looking forward to working with us, but the parents were not. All they had heard it was that internet promotes bad value. This is a message that conservative leader and local Taliban spread to kick out the Western idea. 
the community turned on and anyone who wanted to support our project. And they told them they have no control on their own daughters. The parent started to protest it. And it got the attention of the local Taliban. They began to train them, my employees and me. They believe that with the fear, they can drive us away. But the power of what we teach was too great to submit it to those threats. When I see, for the first time, a girl go online, it's always the victim memorized of the first time in the internet cafe in Herat. You can literally see in their face the changes. These girls and this woman, they have entire life only spoke to close relatives and only friends. But instead of that, they are open to the world to share in their stories. These girls and women, they are entire life depending on the men, but now they can feel for the first time the financial independence. This has the power to dramatically change the conservative societies, how see and treat a woman. I wanted to tell you a story, a story of one of our students. We called here Parisa. She was very from a very traditional family. Her family believed that she belonged to the home, but she was a curious girl, just like me. She wanted to know what's going on out. She started to take one of our computer classes in secret, and absolutely her family couldn't find out. She learned about ICT skill, and she started writing the blogs and the stories. And her blog and stories were, was enough good that she can start to make revenue with that. She was very proud of herself. And she found a way that she can support her family. So she not only decided to tell her family that she has been taking the computer class, she also took the money and gave to her father. He was so angry. Where the money came from, he demanded, and he didn't believe her. So she brought him to the classes. And finally, he saw that she's telling the truth to him. And he saw that what she was accomplished on her own. He never thought that her daughter has the capital of this, and she has this talent, or she can be an independent person. It has never occurred to him that she can provide for herself. Seeing her, that what she was accomplished, and how she could change her entire family perception of a woman. Today, we have a program in Afghanistan and Mexico, and we wanted to extend to other countries, because we wanted to make sure every woman around the world have a voice in the global conversation. This is the big problem, to be sure. But the solution is start small. Think about Parisa's story, how she came to the computer class, and how she could change the entire family's perception of a woman. The, th the change is radical, but idea isn't. Give everyone the chance to imagine a better life and build it for themselves. Thank you.